Now let us talk about more realistic example for flat map. Earlier we have spoken about uh, NYC data and there is the anomaly in that which is nothing but too many small files. And if we use API such as sc.txt file, it was using too much of resources to process very little data. And one of the workaround we have thought about while exploring read data into RD is whole text files. Let me show what I am talking about. So here I am going to data NYSC. I am on my lab, not on my PC, because I have the data sets I am connecting to the lab. And then if you say ls hyphen lhtr, you can see that the file sizes are typically ranged from 12 megabytes to 34 megabytes. You can also say du minus sh dot to give the complete size of this directory which is nothing but 389 megabytes. Now if you use sc.txt file, let me connect to spark console by launching uh, by running spark shell. And then let me say val nyse equal to sc dot whole text files and then give the path which is nothing but public nyc this is my hdfs directory earlier i have demonstrated the sizes on my local file system and then i want to use four partitions which are uh, which i have derived from this total size of the directory which is 389 megabytes if you use sc dot text file it would have used 21 uh, because there are 21 files in it all of them are under 128 mb hence the 21 num number came and there can be 21 rdd partitions uh, for the created rdd and then if we try to process data further it will use 21 tasks to process the data so using 21 tasks to process 400 megabytes is a war kill so in those scenarios we can use sc.txt files the difference is with sc.txt file the output rdd contain a tuple and the tuple contains the name of the file and the content of the file let me show you nysc.first we are getting the first record and it will have the file name uh, which we have read from the hdfs you can see here and then you have the excerpt of the content of the file. You can also say nyc dot first dot underscore to get the uh, the content of the file, and you can say size to understand the size of the file. In this case, you can see that it is approximately 12 MB, which is the case of the first file in our data set. That being said. Uh, now if you say nyse dot count it will only give 21 because there are only 21 files each file is a uh, part of the tuple in the rdd hence we got 21 the actual number of records in the file is approximately 9 million all the files is approximately 9 million that being said now you got uh, uh, an rdd with 21 files uh, as part of the tuples in it but our actual data should be represented as typical strings in the rdd okay so now we can apply split using new line character uh, in the second uh, second element of the tuple which is a big string and then we can split this into an array and then to convert that array into uh, individual elements in rdd we can use flat map so post flat map if we just uh, apply the new line character as the delimiter uh, as part of the fl uh, flat map then uh, the new rdd will be uh, having four partitions with 9 million plus records in instead of 21 partitions uh, similar uh, which is the case with uh, sc.txt file and also as part of the flat map you can apply further data processing as well i will demonstrate it at a later point in time for now i am creating a rdd called nysc rdd and then 
I am saying NYSC dot flat map E is of type tuple, hence I can say E dot underscore 2 which will give the content of the file if I say underscore 1 it will give the file name dot split and here we have to apply the new line character so if you want to apply uh, sorry if you if you want here we have to split by the new line character and in this case the new line character has to be like this I think care is written question mark n because we have to split by new line character in our data new line character is uh, the combination of cas written and uh, uh, n okay if it is map what will happen the nyc rdd also will have 21 records and each one will have array of the elements whereas with flat map that array will be flattened out let us see what is going on here so the new rdd nyc rdd is created and you can say nyc rdd dot count to see number of records in it there will be 9 million 389,000 uh, records 384,709 records you can also say nyc rdd dot first to get the first record take off 10 for each print ln you can see the data here now we can apply um, uh, further processing as part of the flat map to extract the information we we typically don't just split and flatten out after reading data using whole text file we can apply whatever transformation logic we want as part of the flat map considering post split results to be a underlying programming language collection Okay, so in this case, e dot underscore two dot split will give as an array, and then considering that as an array, we can apply uh, Scala collection APIs, and we can process it further. So in this case, I can say val nyc rdd equal to nyc dot, and as part of the flat map, instead of just splitting and uh, then uh, flattening out into individual elements in rdd i want to do further processing so i am saying i want to write it in multiple lines that's why i put uh, curly brace here and e being the tuple first i am extracting the string by saying e dot underscore two okay and and also i am applying split function so let me name it as a a means array in this case just to be in line with uh, what we are trying to do r question mark n and then um, uh, a is now array and using the array we can use any typical scala collection and we can process our data further so in this case i can say val t equal to t is tuple and i am trying to apply map function on top of it okay and again i am opening curly braces so that i can uh, i can break into multiple lines so in this case each element will be of this format that is being passed um, as part of the function which we are passing to this scala's map inside flat map okay so that being said i can say val let me think about uh, val rec equal to some I am giving some random names here. R dot split, comma is the delimiter. So 
rec is of type array now and let us say that finally each element in the rdd has to be transaction date on which and uh, a uh, trade date on which the trade happened um, in nyc and then stock ticker and then volume okay so volume is nothing but rec of 7 and it is of type long because volume can be big big integer hence we can term it as long and then as part of the first element it's a tuple and i want to capture two attributes in that one is date which is of type integer in this case and then the stock ticker so i can say rec of 1 2 int and then rec of 0 which is nothing but stock ticker and then we can close like this and then we can close like this and hit enter so there seems to be some issue in my code let me see yeah finally i have to return the t as part of the flat map function that's the issue here so i'm going to my sublime text and fixing this issue So in this case I just have to return t, t is of type tuple and now it should work. Okay, now you can see that rdd is of type tuple and in the tuple the second element is long and the first element is again tuple which have date in the form of integer and stock ticker in the form of string. Now I can say nysc dot nysc rdd dot count to see number of records in it. Okay, I know the problem. In this case, we have only seven seven elements, so I have to say six here, not seven. So volume is the seventh element, where while date is the second element and stock ticker is the first element. Now you see nycrdd dot count, and there will be nine million three eighty nine three eighty four thousand uh, approximately number of tuples you can see here now you can also say nysc rdd dot first to see how our elements are you can see here and also you can say dot take of 10 dot for each print ln and hit enter and you can see the results so this is how you can use flat map in more realistic scenarios such as addressing small files and as part of the flat map it's not only just converting the string into array uh, you can do whatever transformation you want uh, leveraging the underlying programming language scala collection that's why understanding underlying programming languages uh, such as scala uh, and its collections is very very important for better spark based programming okay and in this case as part of the flat map we not only splitted the complete file uh, by using the newland characters we also apply transformations to extract the information if it is map in this case it will return array to flatten out that array we just use flat map so that is the difference between map and flat map we will see a few more uh, scenarios where flat map will be used in real world uh, scenarios at a later point in time once we explore apis such as group by key and we'll touch base flat map once again at that time.